A strong season, but a tough break. Sophomore Phil Sims' 2016 was one of ups and downs. Healthy and hungry now, the Matia wrestler is ready to take the season with an arm bar. NSW's Kamenenchev has more. Matia Valley's Philip Sims qualified for state as a freshman last year, but didn't get to compete because of a late injury. When I was wrestling, I hit a double leg, and then I came down to hit um, the guy's hip, and then my like two, my jaw was like under my tongue. Like I didn't know what's happening. And I was like, uh, "Can you guys help me so we can like finish this match?" You know, and then they were like, "Oh no, it's broke. You have to go to the hospital." And I had like this big poofy jacket. And so I had to put the jacket on and go to the hospital. But missing out has just made Sims more motivated to get back there this year. I think that actually lit a match in him and made him want to work harder. Um, he came back, he worked his butt off this summer here at Matea with our camps and our extra practices. Um, he went to the 28-day uh, J-Rob camp at the University of Minnesota. Came back, he's been going five days a week all preseason, and um, he hasn't stopped. Yeah, it makes me more hungry to get back in there and, you know, compete with the best and see how well I can do. And it's Phillip's attitude that's been big to his comeback. He's coachable. You know, a lot of times you can have uh, uh, wrestlers that, depending on how the individual is, sometimes they're coachable, sometimes they're not. And the good thing about Phillip is he's coachable. You know, um, he listens and, and he trusts me. Coach Torres has seen Philip improve in many areas of his life. But now he figured it out. You know, I think this semester he got five A's and B's or six A's and B's, which is, you know, great. So him having good grades equals less stress in the wrestling room, being able to perform better, have better practices, and just all around being a better person. So you know, when he leaves here, he could do something with himself. And he's got big goals for 2017 and his whole high school career. The goal is to win it for the next three years. I mean, yeah, it's to make it, but you know, the goal's gotta get higher each year. I'll tell you one thing, I have the most, utmost confidence in Phillip, and you can put him against anybody on a good day, and I, I'm putting my money on Phillip, I really am. And, you know, some people would say I'm crazy for saying that because he's so young. And, you know, the goal now is a four-time state qualifier, three-time state champ. A young star whose future can only get brighter. For NSW, I'm Common and Chev.